Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope really, hopefully everyone is doing well. Um, it's been a little while since I did a last um, PSP video. Um, Dying Light 2 actually came out for the PC. Well, for, for, for consoles, too. So I've been playing um, the PC version, and I'm just getting into it. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's different. But, um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. That's why I haven't been doing too many videos. Um, but today, I'm going to do something uh, a little different. I'm going to do something called Game Categories Light. Um, this plugin was created to let users make custom folders for their content on their PSP. So, in actuality, you could have folders like this. So you could have stuff nice and neat. Like I like to have my 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 house, my condo nice and neat and clean. Um, this is a good way to clean up a bunch of stuff on your PSP. So first, I'll leave this link in the description below. First, you want to download the newest version. And it's going to bring you to the GitHub. I'm going to leave the links down in the description below, as always. So you're going to click on it. You're going to download the file, which I already did. I created a new folder. So here it is. You don't know. You don't need any of these actually, um, except for Category Light. So what we're going to do now? I already hooked my PSP up to the USB drive and we're going to do the USB method. So what you want to do now is do that. Let's move this over. You want to control C to copy. You want to go to your CE plugins on your PSP. right here it says create a folder in the CE plugins name categories light so that's what we're gonna do so let's right click new folder let's see name that to category I'm just double checking the spelling. That's all. I'm triple checking now. All right. Let's open that bad boy up. Remember that file we just control C, or you can always just drag and drop, which I'm just gonna do right now. Perfect. That's all you gotta do. Close out of that because it says add category light .prx to the C plugins folder, categories light folder. So good. That's accomplished. All right. Let's go back to the root. I'm going to scroll down, and if VSH isn't um, on your SD card, don't worry. Just create um, a notepad, open up notepad or Word, and uh, create the VSH file. So you want to open this up. You want to copy this for people who have one, two, or three Ks. PSP Go, please use this code. Well, not code, but ladder code, I should say. Let's highlight and copy this. Control C or just right click and then copy so let's go here and this has to be on the first line there you go control s for save or you can always go to file and um, save it so let's back out of here um, next after this after the changes have been made to your vsh.txt file you got to hit the select button on your um, PSP systems, people, and you got to go to VSH from the recovery menu. You got to reset it. So that's what we're going to do. But first, with the plugin added, you can create new folders in the PSP game and ISO. So what I have right here, here's the ISO, and these are the games that I ripped earlier today. So let's, I'm just going to put, I'm not really too sure, let's put a uh, racing. Let's do that. Oh crap, I'm going to put my fault people. I'm going to add cat underscore racing. It has to have cat. Let's go to new folder. Um, cat 
fighting. Power stone. And I believe the end war end war game is actually an RTS game. I'm pretty sure. I haven't played it yet. Um, was it RTS? RTS. And Hannah Montana. Um, let's see. Let's. Okay, adventure game. Let's see. Cat. Alright. That's good. Let's close out of that. Um, PSP game. Let's go here. Let's see. Oop. PSP. Go to game. Cat. Um, utility. That's all I have so far for only three folders. So let's X out of this, and I'll see you over at the uh, PSP side of things, people. Um, please stick with me. All right. Now with the PSP side of things, I just backed out of the USB connection. So what you want to do now, you want to hit the uh, select button. It's very hard to see, but you want to go down to where... Let's Actually, let's first go to recovery menu. Go to plugins. Okay, category light is enabled. All right, let's go to reset VS VSH. Let's give it a good 30 seconds. Also, side note, um, it says on the website, you can only have a maximum of eight category folders, including uncategorized folder if enabled. Category folders must not exceed 30 characters. So please keep that in mind. Like I said, the links will be in the description below. Um, please read it so you can understand. All right. Let's see. There you go. But wait! There's more! Or what we could have done was... Oh, actually... Um, this ripping tool, it's not bad. I actually prefer um, the UMD dumper a lot better. But that's just my opinion. Um... Granted, this UMD dumper right here, um, it dumps games just, just like the UMD dumper, but at least this UMD dumper, when you put your game in, it actually will rip um, the game um, with the same name that it gives you if you connected the PSP to the, um, to the computer. It gives you the exact same ISO. I don't have a game. I gotta go. Actually, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I put in a game in. Let's load up UMD Dumper so I can show you, so I can kind of explain to you what I'm trying to explain, I guess. I've always had a hard time explaining um, stuff, even throughout schooling. I never had the best comprehension, as you could tell. And when I get nervous, I start stuttering, too. All right. So the target file... Hopefully you can see that. That's what the target file name is going to be. So I leave it. I leave everything, the settings, the same, and I start ripping. So let's get out of this. All right. Back at the dashboard or desktop or whatever the hell you want to call it. I know this video is going on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I apologize. All right. Let's load up this second UMD dumper. Friday, 
Now, both of them do the same exact job, just ripping game straight from the, the disc itself. But I like the um, the other utility better because it actually spits out the, the title ID of, um, of the uh, game. Um, right here it says start dump. Now, if I start dump, I'll start it, of course, but it won't give me, um, actually, yes, there we go. I can rename it, but at least the other utility has the name already enabled, so you don't have to spend your time renaming the ISO, but just preference, I guess, so let's back out of this then. That's all I wanted to show you. But this is what Category Lite is. It just places everything neatly in a folder for you guys. All right, here's what the folders look like. Um, before I go, don't forget that if you go to, uh, let's see, the settings, go to System Settings. Now, these are these three settings have been um, installed when you, act, um, when you install the Category Lights plugin. So actually, one, two, three... Four, four of these plugins. I mean, four of these plugins. Four of these categories and um, options they gave you when you install categories like category lights. I apologize. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I apologize. So select the display mode for the games homebrew, multi MS context menu folders. Um, it's on multi MS. Let's, let's see what contextual menu is. Also gonna see a circle nope guess not there we go that's what the that's what it's gonna look like even neater which I don't mind actually that's kind of cool let's go back let's go to system settings let's go to folders slash homebrew unless it just it's folders I think That looks nice. Utility. At least it gets rid of the cat underscore utility. So that looks nice. I like that too. I like the minimalistic one where it just showed the folders on the right hand side. Let's go back to system settings. Let's go to... I'm going to bring this back up to multi-MS. Use the cat prefix to re recognize the category. None. Let's switch this on. Let's go back. It always pauses because it's reading the uh, disc or the SD card. And look, category underscore is gone. So you can write name folders. So you can cr so you actually can um, create a folder called emulators, and it'll still it'll still read it on here. So you really don't really need cat underscore emulators which is good good to know all right let's go back system settings let's go none uh, all allows hiding the un categories content i'm gonna leave that alone for now so that's the system um the settings under the system settings you got four of them category mode prefix uncategorized and sort categories let's hit yes for sure uh, sort let's see what happens it's reading the thing again I don't know if you caught that or not T adventure T fighting T and yeah, all right let's turn this off then uh, let's see nope that's it that's categories light categories light I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying it. I haven't been drinking. I've, I don't drink. Very rarely do I ever drink. But that this is the plug-in Categories Light. Um, it's a rad little tool to keep things nice and organized. Um, so if you want to use it, definitely check it out. Give it a whirl. There's a little. There's some. There's a good amount of options, so you could set up your own folders and stuff like that. I like this. It's minimalistic. If I'm using that term correctly. <laughs> Um, 
what you can do if you have something like this, just plug this into the USB, go back to the um, the folders and just rename the folders, just take out cat underscore and you'll be good to go. So that's it. That's category categories lights. I just want to say category light. I'm just going to say that category light. How's that? So that's the plugin. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and um, I'll catch you guys around sometime. Thank you. Thanks.